Brahmagupta's formula. The area of the quadrilateral of the cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D is equal to S minus A times S minus B times S minus C times S minus D square rooted. Here S is equal to let me write this S oops. S is equal to A plus B plus C plus D divided by 2. Here, here quadrilateral A, B, C, D has to be a cyclic quadrilateral for reasons that you'll, that you'll see later on. Now, first of all, op, the, the area of the quadrilateral is equal to the triangles, the sum of the area of the triangles A, B, C, and A, D, C. So, and we know how to solve the area of a triangle. We just, the area of the triangle A, B, C, A, B, C is equal to 1 half times sine alpha, this angle over here, times A, B. The area of the other triangle is 1 half times sine 180 minus alpha times C, D. Well, since the, since sine alpha is equal to sine 180 degrees minus alpha, we, this means that the sum of these is equal to this. Now, if we now we have to make it so that this equation doesn't have any sine sign. How do we do that? We have to convert the sign into side values because the formula doesn't have any. Well, if we square if we square both sides and and put in the Pythagorean identity, where sine squared alpha is equal to one minus cosine squared alpha, we get this equation. Whoops, we get this equation over here. We can we can use the log cosines next to f figure figure it out. Since since the log cosine applies. Cosine alpha is equal to a squared plus b squared minus a c squared divided by 2ab, and cosine 180 minus alpha is equal to c squared plus d squared minus a squared divided by 2cd because of these two angles. Now, we, now, in these both equations, we have a c squared, but in the formula, there is no a c squared. So how do we get rid of it? Well, if we multiply both sides of equation 2 by 2ab and multiply both sides of equation 3 with 2cd, then we can subtract these two equations and get this equation over here with no, with no ac. Now, the reason that there's only two cosine alpha and no cosine 180 minus alpha is because that co this over here is equal to minus cosine alpha. Now, by simplifying this, we get that cosine alpha squared is equal to this over here. Put this into the first equation, which is over here. And you're left with it, the area squared is equal to this over here. Now, since y x squared minus y squared is equal to x plus y times x minus y, we could put this into the equation, into the expression over here. If we let 2, a, two times a b t plus c d equal x and a squared plus b squared minus c squared minus d squared equal y, then we get this over here. Now, if we group these into four sections here, 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 and here, we can get that this equals to a 
plus b squared minus c squared, c minus d squared, times c plus d squared minus a squared, a minus d b squared, divided by 16. Let's use x squared minus y squared again, and we get this equation, this expression over here. Now, when we substitute s, which is equal to a plus b plus c plus d divided by 2, also known as the semi perimeter, we get Brahmagupta's form the formula. The reason that we get this is because if we substitute in here, that means we into this over here, we get that it equals to 2s minus 2c, which each of them equal, equaling this, except replacing the c it was a, b, and d. Dividing all, dividing each of these by 2 four times, since there's four expressions, then you're, then the 16 on the denominator is, is, is not there anymore. And then, and then square rooting both sides, it's square, because it's a squared, not a, not, not a, you're left with this equation over here. Brahma Gupta's formula.